see as much wear because the only wear would be like on this part. M44813. Um, it's just my first and last name at gmail.com. And it's only available curbside pickup right now. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna text the lady that. Basically, it's never as easy as just like. I think that's the part. Okay, Jasmine, I did have it at the main store. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Jasmine and I make lifestyle videos. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. My first ever um, unboxing video. This is going to be my very first designer bag. So I've never actually unboxed one of these before, but I've been saving up. I've been working as a nurse since October of 2019, so it's almost almost 10 months now and I'm really excited to open up my very first luxury bag per se. So the bag that I got is the multi pochette and if you don't know I've been kind of like browsing for a really really long time and I was actually interested in the Palm Springs initially just because it's something that you can kind of wear every day but it was never in stock or I never really looked that into it to the point where I like called the place to ask if it was there. I had asked my friends and they told me how to get it because obviously I've never gotten it before. So I literally just called the place and they told me they have it and I literally got it within hours of me calling. That's how I got the bag. If you want to watch more of it, it's going to be in my vlog down below. I talk a little bit more about it in detail as to how I got it and kind of like you can watch me talk to the sales associate. And so. Well, let's just get into the unboxing. So, I want to insert the clip of me struggling to put this in my car because I didn't expect this thing to be so, so wide. But, so, this is what the box, this is what the box looks like. I might actually, super bougie. And before I had gotten this, I had specifically asked where it's from. I didn't open the box when I was actually there because I obviously wanted to get it on camera and I didn't want to unbox it inside my car. It was a curbside pickup. It took me about like 25 minutes to get the actual um, package just because they were taking a while. This is what the package looks like. There's a little blue bow on it and I asked specifically where it was from before I had actually gotten it and they said it was from France and I really wanted it from France just because of the fact that's where Louis Vuitton is actually um, originated in. This ribbon's really pretty. Obviously I'm going to keep it because it's really cute. So the first thing is this box. I wonder how they fit all three into this. So let me show you. So I guess it's a magnetic box, and I'm a little bit confused at how small it is, but it comes with one dust bag, and it's coming with this. I'm intrigued by the box. So there's these two, I don't know why they're like that. Let me double check to make sure that this is actually um, made in the right place. So this is the main pouch. Or is this the main pouch? Yeah, it is the main pouch. And it comes with a little Louis Vuitton care card, fabric, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what this is to be honest with you. I think it's just to um, make it seem authentic, I guess. You can clearly tell I've never bought a Louis Vuitton before. Um, this is, oh my gosh. So this comes in khaki and then a light pink. I pick khaki because I feel like it's much darker and my style is more, um, I normally wear a lot of dark things. So I think this would match more with my style. And I'll kind of put it together for you once I get it all sorted out. So that's this. There's also this little portion. And I think this is like the part that really sold me on this purse. Hold on. So I know this is on here. It's kind of annoying that it's on here. But. Where does it say that it's made in? So 
there's three parts. This is the little coin purse. And it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. There are these little things inside of it too. Okay, now that I've unboxed it, let me like turn over. So, so the first portion is this coin purse. And I'll show you how this attaches and how it wears out once I um, pull everything out. But I want to show you. So there's one portion where it hooks onto the front when you sling it over. And then it comes with this strap. It comes with this front part. And this one, this is what really sold me on it. Was the fact that you can wear this by itself. And I was initially going to buy the regular, um, the pochette that's um, a leather strap. And then this portion, but it's a little bit bigger. So it's like more like this size. And then it's a leather strap. And it's just a shoulder bag. But I like this one because what you can do is you can use this for like nights out and it sits really well like right under your shoulder so it's like not too not too crazy. I feel like it's very chic, it's very like classic and it's something that you can use for a really long time because it's I don't think it's high maintenance just because the thing that I've seen wear out the most is this portion right here. Um, I don't really know what this material is called. I think it's like some sort of leather. I don't know. But this portion I've seen get worn out, worn out very quickly. And that's the reason why I didn't want to get the, the regular pochette that wasn't the chain. I probably sound really stupid to people who have actually bought these before. But so there's that portion. So the way this one sits... I had watched someone's video, they talked about how they like, how it like makes this sound when the chain hits the leather. And I didn't think it made any sense when she said it, but now that I like hear it in real life. So this is the front portion. And unfortunately, you cannot hook on the chain to the bigger pouch, which is kind of a bummer because this would be also really cute, but you could also use it as like just like a pouch but I don't know if you can see here but it does say made in France so I'm happy about that because I didn't want it although like made in the US is nice I specifically wanted my first one to be from France just because of all the research that I've done but it hooks onto here so these like little chain parts hook onto that part and because this one doesn't have a hook you cannot hook on the actual chain to the bigger portion itself. It has to be hooked on with the small. Actually, I don't know. Hold on. Oh no. So it hooks on like this. So this is the front portion, and then here is the back portion. And then this one is supposed to hang in the front. The problem with this bag is if you want to stuff your purse, if you hold a lot of things in your back, it's going to be very difficult. But for me, I don't really hold a lot. I'll kind of show you the purse I'm using right now, and I really don't use a lot of it because it's a very, very big purse. This big strap, which makes it very chic, I think, makes it good for everyday wear. You can attach it right here. Oh, that's wrong. I'm really not, oh my god. Dude, what the heck? This is so dope. What? And this part can hook right here. So, this is how the bag sits. And this strap right here is like adjustable, so you can kind of change the length. But I actually think that I like it sitting right here, just so that you can see it and it's more accessible. So this portion right here, you can put, I've seen a lot of people put like AirPods in it. And I think that's a really good idea because you can kind of like reach for it really easily. You can put coins or else. You can put your rings in it, like I suppose. Like, oh, if I really wanted to put these. Or if you're like really ghetto like me, you can put your eyelashes <laughs> when you take them off in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like one way to wear these. Um, there's so many ways that you can wear this. 
just depending on what accessories you do have. You can take this, to, so this is really for more like everyday wear. This is one way. And then you can also wear it. This is like really what sold me on it because the, there's literally so many ways you can wear it. You can wear it with two if you really want to, and like if you needed more space to put stuff. Um, I think if I do go out and stuff to like fancier things, I would just do the gold and then the small pochette as opposed to both of them. I feel like this is a little bit bulky, but if you really do like need all the space, you can always put those together. You can always put it set, like this big one as like a um, clutch. Another thing that you can do, some people like they put the they don't like the fact that it like flaps and it hits them. So what they do is they like hook it onto here and stuff. And then you can just take out this. But I think that's kind of weird. I don't really like that. I like it right here because I like to have the extra easy access to whatever it is, like small items that I need. But I think I'll get a lot of use out of it just because of the versatility of the bag. And I think it's a good first bag to have just because you can literally style it in so many different ways. Like you can put two together, you can put like one together. You can add on this. I've seen someone literally um, put it on. Let me show you. Hold on. This. And I, I don't really understand this one, but you can do it if you want to, I guess. Um, where you can have it as like a little wristlet, I guess. The small way, which is like these. But this is a little bit too formal for me. So this is one way to wear it if you want to be like a little bit chic and like you don't carry too much. They had multiple dust bags, but I only have one. Like they had like four different dust bags. I don't like that they only gave me one. It's fine. It's probably not that big of a deal. I'll probably store them all together anyway. Um, but yeah, oh my god, I can't believe I literally, I literally can't believe I have this bag. It's actually pretty crazy. It's actually pretty crazy how I have this bag, and I literally still can't believe it. It's literally made in France. Isn't that insane? <sighs> so, yeah. I'm really thankful to have this bag. It's have my first designer bag. I've been wanting it for so long, and for the longest time, I've just been consistently saving money. And I honestly didn't... I wasn't... I spent some money on stuff but I obviously intended to spend money on like EDC and stuff like experiences but obviously because a lot of the experiences that I had planned were cancelled for this year I kind of felt like really sad so to take a little splurge and buy my first person I'm not really mad about it because I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of it eventually um, if you have any advice on how I should care for this bag, and if you have any designer bags yourself, and you're more knowledgeable than I am, which I'm sure most people are, um, shoot me a comment or a DM because I would love to hear your feedback on it because I literally am very, very new to this. So I'm really interested to hear people's feedback and I'll show you what it looks like standing up all put together because I'm so in awe, literally, of how freaking cute it looks. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and the bag is adjustable right here. You can wear a little bit higher or lower depending. I'm like a pretty small person. I'm literally 5'2", for people's references, and this is how it sits on me, just how the strap comes itself. Um, I feel like it matches really well with a lot of different outfits. I love this detailing that it has right here, but I feel like if I put a lot of things, like for example, but yeah, so I guess that's going to be it for this video. I know I didn't really divulge much into a lot of the things that maybe you wanted to hear about it, but this is pretty much just a genuine unboxing of me unboxing my very first designer purse. I'm very excited to get some use out of this and I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of it because of its versatility. Um, and I'll kind of update you guys as I use this bag, probably in my vlogs later on. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys haven't already subscribed and followed my social media, I'm going to link it down here. And that's pretty much going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.